Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what the heck is even happening at this point. Like, what is going on at Treyarch Studios? We literally predicted every single perk that was going to come out for this game. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not double tap. My double tap fans, they're crying. They're literally crying right now because, ladies and gentlemen, you know what came back today? It's that boy PHC Flopper. Like, I'm telling you, boys, it's going to be awesome. One of the greatest things that I love about PHC Flopper coming back is it is not... The PhD slider camel boys. Oh my gosh. Thank the Lord. They helped us. They saved us. Now granted, I think this PhD version is probably going to be the same as PhD slider. It's probably even going to be called PhD slider because listen, Treyarch even made it their profile picture, but they ain't saying nothing. Look at that. They saying music emoji. They ain't going to let you know exactly what the name is. But it's going back to the original style and look of it. We love the purple perks. Thank goodness it's not going to be like that. But it's probably going to be the same. Obviously, if people don't know what PHD Flopper is, where have you been? Have you been living under a rock? I genuinely don't know. Uh, but PHD Flopper essentially makes you immune to explosions. And whenever you dolphin dive or slide, I guess in Cold War's case, then you're going to be able to create a massive explosion when you jump off from an elevation. That's essentially what PHC Flopper does. But at the end of the day, it makes me genuinely curious as to what is going to happen with this perk. Because this is the thing, chat. There's one thing I've learned from Cold War. And that is Mule Kick is not good in Cold War because it gives you a third weapon. It's because it gives you more ammo. Death Perception is not good in Cold War because it's trying to show you the enemies across the walls or through the walls. It's because it gives you more salvage and I feel like that is the exact same use case that PhD flopper is going to get here because granted I don't think there's a lot of explosive weapons even in Cold War zombies Let alone the Mustang and Sally's not even in it man. It's like origins They took out the Mustang and Sally and origins put in the Mauser and then what do we get? PhD flopper It's the same dang thing. They don't want us to ever have a chat So that's why at the end of the day, I don't really know what exactly is going to happen with PHD Flopper? A couple suggestions that I've heard from the community is that it's going to act very similarly to Vigor Rush from Leviathan if you ever played that custom map. But a Vigor Rush essentially would just make it so that your bullets would also explode. And if PHD Flopper would do that, oh my goodness, that would be awesome. Because I have a really bad feeling, feeling that some of the tiers on PHD Flopper are just not going to be that great. Or they're going to be too centralized around the explosion loading part when you slide rather than you being fully immune and granted i don't really even understand the point of phd in cold war because man you would like the ray gun is usually one of the greatest things to have phd flop run but man nobody even gets splash damage from the ray gun anymore so unless they up the splash damage and make you have phd flopper now I don't really understand the addition to this perk. And also another thing that a lot of people have been asking me about is they're like, yo, let's hope that PHD Flopper gets into Vanguard because if these new perks that Cold War is introducing don't get into Vanguard, then it's crazy because it's like, what's the point? PHD Flopper will then only have a life cycle of about one month. One month, that's it. Only one month because Vanguard is coming out in a month, man. It's seriously tragic. So listen, I hope Treyarch has PhD Flopper in a good spot. They literally made Mule Kick and Death Reception two of the greatest perks in Call of Duty Zombies, which me saying that with my own mouth and my own lips honestly doesn't even make sense at the end of the day. But that is Treyarch. That is the way it is. But Treyarch today, chat was not just giving out PhD Flopper. They said, no, nah, we ain't giving you the final perk. We knew it was PhD Flopper. There is even more chat. So if you played Nightmare, you might remember me using a special RCXD and look at what Treyarch just added. They added their own version called the ARCXD. Like, come on, this is what I'm saying. I'm with Charlie Intel here. Is this a monster truck? And this is the weird thing. They say it's a controlled explosive device that's coming for Forsaken, which is obviously interesting. But the thing is, when you actually look at the schematic of it, it doesn't really look like it has a lot of explosives. You can see a flashlight 
a camera, and also some sort of dark ether capsule at the back here, but nothing really explosive. So what I could imagine and what I hope they're going to be doing with this RCXD is I really hope that it's not necessarily just a kill streak. I love the way that it was used the nightmare where you would go around and shoot these sort of ventilators and then go into, onto the RCXD, get the part inside the ventilators, and then you would essentially build a bomb by grabbing all those parts around the map, and then you would go and kill the five Pentagon scientists, which was really cool in Nightmare. And granted, that was a custom map. So if Treyarch can get up to that level where the RCXD is, for example, used with the Easter egg, and you're going around and you're searching for certain items that you can only access with the RCXD, it would be really cool. Because that actually reminds me a lot of the BO1 multiplayer map design, where they would have like little custom routes for the RCXD to literally either like travel around the map or travel throughout the map, and it would only be accessible with the RCXD. And I love that sort of design. So that is the the use case of it within this Forsaken map, I am absolutely 100% for it. I think it would be really awesome, especially like we have a camera here. So this is obviously going to be our viewpoint. Maybe if we have to like record something in the game, that would be really unique. That would be an interesting Easter egg step and something we've definitely never seen before. But last, Treyarch said there's more. I'm not even joking. They literally said there's more. They gave us the literal trailer date and boys that is going to be tomorrow they've officially confirmed it forsaken is going to be coming out with the trailer tomorrow and granted this is a beautiful shot we know this from the red light green light campaign mission in cold war but they also added this sort of origin skybox where you've got to throw up the maxis drone up there i don't know what the heck is going on but it is still interesting to see nonetheless because man i don't remember trailer giving this many teasers out for a singular zone zombies map they're doing an excellent job in actually creating a lot of hype like look this this tweet almost had 10,000 likes it was released not even two hours ago barely two hours ago so that's what i'm saying like it does seem like Treyarch is going to go big with this map and it seems like they're going like with the origins vibes and the revelations vibes to make it something really special because i think what we're seeing on the outside here is just a very small glimpse to what this app map is actually like and i think that makes it very exciting like i said it is very reminiscent of something like stranger things season three or season four where they're like going into the dark ether but they're going into the upside down and it is absolutely interesting because boys we know that this is going to be the game where Cold War Zombies concludes. Vanguard is going to be separate. So like I said, there could even be a chance that all the new perks introduced in Cold War are going to be reintroduced again into Vanguard, which I would be totally against. I think they should just bring back everything into Cold War into Vanguard. Continue building rather than cutting and building the same stuff again. I think that would be really bad. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for the video. Let me know what you guys think about PhD Flopper down in the comment section below because honestly, I don't really know. I think Forsaken is going to be excited. I think PHD Flopper will have a larger use case, especially on this map. They sort of do that with all of the zombies maps that they, they introduce. Like Mountain Totem was a very building-esque map. There's a lot of structures in your way. So obviously Death Perception would work better there. And then Fire Bay Z, that map's too big. You need more than two guns, man. I'm telling you, and you need two stuff. Get that out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again so much for watching. And I'll see y'all in that next one, baby.